Okay, this is just going to be a really quick tip on uh, on how to export uh, your drawings to PDF properly uh, from Rhino. Uh, basically, uh, printing to PDF from Rhino. So I've, I've got a bunch of assembly drawings here for uh, one of the kits. And uh, customers asked me to do some revisions, so I'm just going to spit out a whole new uh, new set of assembly drawings for them. And I thought I'd show you one of my great little tricks uh, for PDF uh, export that works really well. So uh, simply, we'll just go here to File, Print. And this might be outside of the... Uh, let me just uh, resize here. There's an outside of the recording window. Okay, close enough. A um, couple of settings in, in Adobe PDF we want to deal with here. Um, we're going to go with an A4 format because European customers. Landscape is fine. Um, we want vector output because, believe it or not, it's faster and it's uh, you can scale up 400% and it'll look great. Um, our top viewport that we were in earlier, we want to um, we want to print a window, so it goes back, gives us, uh, sends us back to uh, Rhino, where we can click and drag a window around uh, what we want to print. Boom right click anywhere in that selection and now you can see we've gone to the out outer bounds of the uh, of the A4 format and it's uh, looking pretty nice so then here's the um, here's the actual tip I want to show you go into properties here and where it says uh, default settings standard this is why our most of our uh, PDFs don't look that great go down to here down to press quality it makes uh, a slightly bigger file, but in this day and age, it's meaningless. So, um, yeah, press quality. And then, of course, we just want to print. Let's hit print. And it'll ask us where we want to save it. And I want to go... Um, into this folder and then we have a revision somewhere and I've pre-saved my uh, my name that I want to save it as and simply hit save and it prints it out and again we're kind of barely in our window here and it prints it out as a, uh, so we just go window, uh, where are we going to go, view, rotate view, clockwise, boom. And you can see it gives us a really nice crisp, crisp PDF. Might not show up on YouTube, but uh, as you can see when we zoom in here, this is, uh, oops, how do I scroll, how do I move around? You can see this is, uh, the lines have nice crisp detail on them. So that's the quick tip for the day. How to export your drawings to PDF and keep them looking nice and crisp for your clients. I get comments all the time on how good my PDFs look, believe it or not. So I thought I'd share that. Like and subscribe, as they say.